Hi, my friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com here. Doing this a little bit different today. We don't have our usual daylight because it's storming, so we're going to try it this way. The um, card that we have for Monday, Tuesday is hope, which means we are feeling like we're in a better place and that things are about to turn around for us in our favor. That's a very, very auspicious message. So keep on, keep holding on to that hope and faith that things will turn it around. And you may see a significant event happen, you know, depending on how fast you guys are making it happen. Uh, do not downward spiral. It's not the time to go into negativity. It's very difficult not to for some of you right now, I know. But if you want some tips and pointers, send me an email. My email will be contained in the link below. But also you can go on to YouTube, type in megahertz frequency music, pick one that you like. And that is also helping to raise vibrations at this time if you want to go there. The advice card from the fairies deck is flower power. So this is guidance for some of you to seek out your Bach flower remedies for those of you that do that already. Um, this also may be a sign for some of you to get into essential oils if you haven't done that already. For those of you that have essential oils, it's definitely a message just to pull those out and use them. The bottom of the card said, says spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. For somebody, this is also a message to go get fresh flowers and to bring them into your house. And that does something for you to lift your energy as well as the energy of your home and whatever room you place them in. You may want to put them in multiple rooms depending on you know, what you have going on and how you're feeling. The card for Wednesday, Thursday is interesting here. You have fulfill fulfillment of wishes, which is the nine of cups in tarot. It says that you're getting what you want. Also, be mindful that you do need to ask in order to receive. So if you haven't asked for what you want or need, then please do so as soon as possible. There is a treasure chest at the bottom of his feet. So he's being given spiritual gifts as well as earthly gifts he has food in his hand but what i find interesting is we pulled the vegetarian card here now this is not please don't think that you need to be a vegan if you haven't already received that message do not intend to be a vegan you certainly don't need to be but this is definitely talking about a dietary issue such that for those of you who have been getting the message, your body's been giving you the message that you need to avoid a certain food or substance item, this is a confirmation for you. The bottom of this card says a new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. What I find interesting about that is with the tarot card, we pulled in this deck a dude holding bread. For someone watching this, they, this may be a message that you need to stay away from wheat and gluten, unfortunately. I can hear the moans right now. Oh, I feel you. Um, and it doesn't have to be forever. It, you know, maybe it's just until you get to a point where, you know, your body can handle it. And you're saying, well, how can my body handle it? Well, you can do something called allergy release technique. Find a good practitioner and they will resolve that if you're having a reaction to it. You know, if your stomach reaction is what I mean. Not a uh, severe reaction. Okay. So the card for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have challenge. And then the advice card is travel. This is a double message, uh, twofold for some of you. So in others of you, this is going to mean one or the other. Some of you may have a trip that's planned this weekend that does not go as planned. Um, it could be canceled or you might go on it and then something presents itself that makes it difficult to stay at your destination. You may have to change hotels, rentals, something like that. Someone going on this trip may uh, be difficult to get along with. For others of you, this is talking about a trip that you're going to take in the future that's necessary for you to get over your sort of 
slump or hump, if you will, um, because you guys need to get out of the house. You need to get out and, you know, stay, even if it's just a staycation, it doesn't have to be going very far necessarily from your, where you guys live, right? But regardless, it looks like, you know, we've seen easier weekends, certainly, you may want to call on your, say some prayers, say some affirmations, and uh, you may want to do less things than usual this weekend. You may need to cut an activity out that's just too time consuming. You won't have time to do it. So that's it for this week. I hope everyone has a great week. Hang in there. There's lots of weirdness going on that continues to go on that's not going to quit anytime soon, but we're all in this together. Many blessings, much love, all my YouTube friends.